and uh, the question is okay what do we do about h say 1 of j 2 pi 1 how do we figure this out okay which i mean there are uh, i don't know should i give a cos or should i give a sign or should i give both what is the meaning of giving uh, what is j it is something imaginary okay so we have already covered this extensively in class so we do two experiments so we have this our unknown system right uh, and we give cos 2 pi t you call this w i and then we have sin 2 pi t you get w q right and uh, what is real part of uh, h of j 2 pi f comma t this is nothing but w i times real part of h is w i times cos 2 pi f s times t right or I mean I by 2 pi f s times t because uh, I am in this case I am exciting the input with the I mean I am exciting the system with an input at at f s does it make sense right. So, this is cos w i times so f s is 1. So, cos 2 pi t plus plus w q sin 2 pi t and the imaginary part of h is w w what i sin 2 pi t minus W q cos 2 pi t. Am I sure this is correct and not? Uh, look back at your notes, is this correct? Minus must be here and plus must be all right. How do I, I mean, so this will because our system is LPTV, what you when you plot this waveform, what do you expect to see? What kind of waveform? You should get, I mean, this is nothing but the gain experienced by the sinusoid, correct? All right. So, uh, this the waveforms that you see for real and imaginary parts of H will be periodic and they will be periodic with what frequency f s and is that because the input is f at f s or what I mean the input also happens to be at f s correct the uh, even if the input was uh, uh, was an arbitrary frequency you will find that uh, these two will be periodic with with f s and that is because the system is varying with the uh, frequency f s. All right. Okay. So, uh, so now let's uh, actually do it. So, if we put cos two pi f t f s t, uh, how will w i look like? Let's assume that uh, you know the uh, g of t is like this. It's very high. 0 
right so and this goes from so 0 to uh, sorry this is half a second I guess right no sorry 2 pi yeah this is half a second this is one second yes so can you please help me plot w i of t it follows very good so basically it starts here it follows you would assume that this is a cosine ok all right uh, I am going to get rid of this to reduce clutter and then what happens then here the capacitor the switch is open remains flat then what happens again does this remains flat and so on. correct ok and uh, what comment can you make about w q of t multiply this by this is sine during half cycle becomes 0 sine becomes 0 and so on. correct. So, I mean, but this is not uh, uh, this is not the job done right what do we need to do to find the real part of h of j 2 pi comma t what do we do we need to multiply w i by cos uh, uh, 2 pi t right which is basically multiplying w i by the same waveform correct and uh, w q by w q by sin 2 pi t. So, uh, what do you think we will have in the first uh, quadrant in the first uh, half second it is nothing but in the, in, the, in the first half a second you have cos square t plus sin square t uh, sin square 2 pi uh, t and therefore, that is going to be 1 all right and uh, what about uh, uh, in the region half to 1. So, w i times cos right w q is 0 anyway. So, we do not worry about it. So, what happens wha, uh, you know what comment can we uh, make about uh, this guy now minus cos 2 pi. So, that basically uh, how will that look that will look like this that make sense folks and then again it gets back to make sense people and what comment can we make about the imaginary part which is minus w i sin 2 pi t plus w q cos 2 pi t. How will this look like? So, w i into sin plus w q into cos that will simply be 0 very good in half to 1 
it will be w i is minus 1 it will be sin it is uh, the sorry uh, the, this, this was minus w i sin 2 pi t. So, uh, oh sorry is it negative. So, it is basically minus w i cos 2 pi t sin 2 pi t plus w q cos 2 pi t right and uh, of course, w q is 0 in this, uh, uh, in this part. So, w i is minus 1 minus w i is 1. So, in this it should be negative that is right. Okay. So, remember this real part of h of j 2 pi comma t is uh, is this waveform here right and uh, you expand this as uh, a Fourier series and uh, you will get some uh, rather if you do this plus j imaginary h of j 2 pi comma t what you will get is sigma over k h k of of uh, j 2 pi e to the j 2 pi k times t. So, h yeah, I am sorry, I think I have goofed. So, basically uh, h 0 of j 2 pi is nothing but the d c value of of uh, uh, these waveforms correct and what uh, should h 0 be therefore, yeah d d c value of the real part is is half and d c value of the imaginary part is half minus j by pi. Does it make sense? All right. So let's see if that makes sense. So yeah, it's uh, this is this value here. The uh, it happens to be yeah um, half minus j by ok. All right. Now, h so the magnitude is uh, you know uh, what do you call uh, square root of 1 fourth plus 1 by uh, pi square. Now, the next thing uh, I would like to uh, draw your attention to is the following. 